and they're getting worse with it. What? Uh, that doesn't work. Zero parking space within the city. Directly in the sun. Where am I still am? <laughs> Backing up like this, but. Directly in the sun, my first thing works when you want. Oh, there we go. Okay, I'm gonna have to back up a little bit more. <sighs> so it's Saturday morning, and I got up this morning to like. the little things sometimes that you don't even recognize that matters you know like because where we just moved from like we can find the littlest things to not be content but um little things like this like we live in an apartment complex with a gatekeep and it might not be a big thing to some people but you know it's kind of a sign of moving on up in a sense so anyway I know I got the sun shining directly, so like half my, yeah, I got half my face is like bright. I, th I thought I was getting out of the sun, but maybe I should move somewhere else because I've been sitting here in Starbucks for like an hour now. I think I left the house around 8.30, so I've been sitting in the parking lot for like an hour. Um, but I need to move somewhere else where I got, I'm not like directly in the sun even though melanin is popping okay but <sighs> this is like my weekly vlog I don't really be vlogging at home anymore because y'all I just been laying around pretty much a lot because some weeks with pregnancy I'm okay some weeks I'm just like my body is just like girl chill <laughs> so and i noticed now a little pregnancy update just real quick so i'm like 29 weeks i think now should be going into 30 weeks yeah because i start my if you're a mom you know the last trimester they put you at every two week appointments and then they put you at weekly appointments so that's how i know like time is definitely ticking for me now so tuesday i start my bi-weekly appointment so i'm not going monthly anymore <sighs> so i'm really starting to feel it like for real like i'm starting to really feel this pregnancy now Um, like yesterday I was down like it's been like two days this week where my body was just like girl you gonna lay down and rest <laughs> and rest your nerves so that's what I've been doing pretty much um, let me move though cause I'm not with the sun in my face anymore um yeah and I've been kind of up and down with like my like my thyroids and my vitamin intake and stuff like that because like the first three months of pregnancy i didn't start i didn't take anything first of all because i was i i really didn't find out i was pregnant until i was about three months which is just y'all because usually i know <laughs> when i'm pregnant but for some reason um this time i didn't recognize like i said like i talk about this but I was taking plan B pills, we moved to Georgia, and I think there was just, a lot of stuff was thrown off, and I was just, I know my body was under a lot of stress from a move like this, and um, yeah, it was just a lot the first three months of being here, like just the adjusting mentally, emotionally, physically to a new place, 
Um, which I'm going to talk more about that when we, you know, when I really, really get a chance about the mental, the emotional, and the physical effects of a move. Um, because it's just a lot more than people think. Oh, Lord, she look like she doped up, y'all, coming out of the dentist. <laughs> um, yeah. And people think it's just about the physical move itself, but it's not. You know, some people be like, oh, girl, you're just moving, you know, but mm -mm. to make a move like this first, I've only, I've only moved out of my city probably two times my entire life. When I was younger, moved in with roommates in, to Orlando, which is 45 minutes away from my house, and then... this move moving to Georgia um, which was in February the last day of February actually so March my birthday month we entered into like I entered my 34th year of life in a new state so yeah so I think that was the reason why I didn't know I was pregnant until like three months later. Because just a lot of stress. I had a lot of bad habits physically in my body. So I just, you know, my body was like, girl, what is going on? I can't even send you a signal. <laughs> and that's how it was. <laughs> Y'all, my little curls. I want them to be down like this. But I didn't put the stuff on there. So... I'll be, I'll be flipping them up under my ear as of right now because I'm trying to get them to stay down but yeah so I'm just rambling so I'm going into my bi-weekly appointments which means time is ticking like and we haven't really bought anything for this baby after I had serenity last year I was just like okay we're done and I was like, okay, we're done. We're not having no more kids. To find out that we're having another girl is like, I gave away all the girl stuff. We gave away, I mean, I gave away a lot of stuff. And I gave my mom the majority of the things. So, um, I knew she didn't have no more. But we had a lot of girl clothes. And there was quite a bit of, like, newborn clothes and stuff that... Serenity did not get to wear. Y'all yeah, gonna figure out where I'm park at real quick. Um, Serenity didn't get to wear, but I gave it all away because I was like, oh, that's so much better. I was like, I'm good. I'm not having no more children. We are straight. Uh-oh. <laughs> and I meant that with every piece of me like we weren't having no more kids at four we were good but then we got here and it was a whole nother story so um we have to start all over now the things that we did keep was like her we kept the playpen we have two playpen so a playpen that i got from the baby shower last year and then um, we had a smaller one that is like we can use for travel and stuff like that. And it's actually one we've had for quite a while. A black playpen we've had. Because when my husband was living here in Georgia, we were coming back and forth and stuff like that. And we had, um, we bought it so she can have that sleeping because she was smaller. My five-year-old, which at the time she was two, like three years ago, four, almost, yeah, one, two, two-ish so we have to start all over and i have my eyes on a few things that i do want to get to for the baby because after a while you recognize that like more and more kids buying and what you need gets more simple and of course like the way that they develop so many different products for babies now because it is definitely about convenience now in this world we live in today for babies they make so much stuff and i'm like ooh. so here i am in a 10-year span of being a mom 
It's like thinking about the things that we bought for Major when he was born. And he's about to be 11, actually, in January. So we're having a baby. And my son is about to turn 11, my oldest. And the development, the innovation, the evolving of baby products and stuff is, like, amazing. So I'm trying to be very minimal for her because I just don't want a lot of stuff. Like, she already got to sleep in my room. And I'm just like, I don't want a whole bunch of stuff. I'm already in nesting mode right now for this pregnancy. So... I've been fussing with my husband about us getting the house organized and starting to buy stuff for her and all kind of stuff. So I have my eye on this stroller because, you know, they make the big bulky strollers and then they have like these strollers that are very convenient. And with us having four children, we're in a smaller SUV. We're still in our truck and we plan to get something bigger, <sighs> but um, we need the smallest thing possible. So I found this stroller car seat. It's by a company called Duna. Let me see if I can show y'all on this phone. It's by a company called Duna. And they've made this car seat stroller where it just all stays together. Like, I can, like, fold the wheels and the car seat and everything up and just snap it in the base. And, um... Let me go to my Instagram. I'm just going to show y'all. Because I'm not in that editing space yet where I can just, you know, insert a picture. Or maybe I could. I don't know, y'all. Um, but I'm just going to try to show y'all real quick. Here it is. Alright, so. Y'all, it's so cute, but... There's, it's $500, and I'm like, you know what? I'm finna get this. <laughs> I don't care if it is even just for a year. I'm about to buy this stroller, okay? Let me see if I can show y'all. Like a, okay, here go a video of how it goes. So, it might start over. So, I'm just gonna show y'all real quick how it looks. So this is on Instagram. It's Duna USA. And watch, he gonna fold it up. See what I'm talking about? Y'all see how he picked that stroll up? And that was it. Like, you just snap it open, snap it back closed, and you snap it in the car base. And I'm like, who doesn't need that? Look at it, it's so cute. I'm like, that's worth every bit of $500 for me, okay? Once you have five children, I don't have time for the big, um, like the big stroller where you have to take the wheels part out, then you got to take the car seat out, snap it in the stroller, then when you're ready to get back in the car, you got to do all of this extra stuff. I'm so glad I saw somebody with it. I was at, I was I was leaving Best Buy and I was leaving Best Buy and I just so happened to look they look like they're probably first time parents and I saw him the father, the guy because mom got in the car and I saw him like they had the stroller it was very small that's what caught my eye it was very small and just very like it wasn't big and bulky so I'm looking and then I see him pull the piece the handle that is usually under car seat and he just like brought it all together and picked it all up and put the baby in the car i was like what is that <laughs> somebody tell me please because I, I, at first i was like okay did he just do that like did he just bring the wheels up into the car seat and then just picked it up and took it into the truck he didn't open the back of the truck he didn't take a car seat off of the wheels part and put it in the car uh, back nothing like that he just got it and snapped it in the car and i told my husband i was like oh my god i think i found a car seat i didn't know the name nothing so when i show him now the only thing is y'all might be rambling but the only thing is right now is that with this like with my youngest still being one she's going to be two in february we still have to find something that is like double stroller um which i'm not very happy about um 
but we do and we don't i think it's something good for us to buy just depending on where we're going to be going so say for instance like when the baby get old enough and we start flying or we start taking trips and stuff we will have like this backup double stroller type of situation but as of right now you know, we just have that small single stroller to push her around in and then of course like the baby will be already in her stroller thing so i don't feel like we really need to stress double stroller until we know how our year is gonna look with traveling and stuff like that 